Hello, my lovely friends. Again, Tuesday here to share with you a YouTube hop that is a little different. It is the rainbow hop. And I could not resist but to use some of my brand new products from the Truly Grateful collection. And I just pulled some of my papers from my stash. Now the girls have all been assigned or chose, I guess is the better word, they have chosen colors that they would like to represent. And I believe a couple of us are even doing rainbows. So my color is yellow. This will be a very yellow layout. And I actually struggled, which is kind of strange because yellow is my favorite, but I tried to keep it monochromatic to a degree and focus on yellows and it made it a bit of a challenge. When I was going through my papers, I realized I had a ton of pink but I did not have a ton of yellow. So I did find this uh, One Canoe 2 paper by Saturday afternoon, and it was kind of, you know, it's got the geometric shape to it, the hexagons, and I liked it as a whole, but of course I didn't need all those colors, so I am just going to fussy cut out the yellow portion, and I end up adding that just to the left of the photo. You're gonna see how I incorporate some other hexagons as well. It's very difficult. I did not realize these hexagons were a little wonky until I tried to make one into a template and cut additional hexagons. And this paper does not have perfect hexagons. So it was a bit of a challenge, but I think I figured it out and it worked out in the end, so. Here I am just trying to see, look at how wonky that hexagon is. And I'm looking at it going, hmm, this is not what it appears to be on the paper, but that is the shape. So <laughs> I end up trimming some of those up that I'm gonna add um, just around the page so that it's not just on one particular section of the layout and ties in everything together. So. That was probably the hardest part of this layout. I had also pulled from my stash some really old mica paper, or papers, mica powder that was gold, and I had not used it in many, many years. <clears throat> Pardon my allergies. Um, so playing around with it was really strange. I got it when I was stamping. I was at a stamping convention, I remember specifically, but it just didn't do very well even though I gessoed the paper and I used it on here. You can see it just to the right. I tried to mix it and it was just not working out very well. So I ended up covering a lot of that up with some of the Shimmers products in No Yoking, Sunset Strip, and Mandarin Mai Tai, which are different yellows. I was really hoping that gold would work out well. I struggle with those powder things. They either have little crumbles in them or they don't mix well. It's just, those powders are not my favorite. No powders on the market seem to be my favorite. I struggle with using them. So I'm not sure if I'm just going to toss them or keep trying to struggle with them, <laughs> but they're, they're getting frustrating. So, and I know they're not cheap, so I'm not happy that I can't seem to get them to work. I have much better success with things like sprays and inks and uh, gelatos, watercolors, things like that, but not so much with the powders. So there are a lot of girls on this hop. This should be a pretty big hop, so make sure you check out the other channels I will have listed in the description bar below to see their take on the rainbow hop. I wanted to use some of these rainbows, but they were different colors. And it would have been very symbolic of the hop, but I wanted to stick to yellow because that was the one I picked. So I dove into this brand new Truly Grateful collection by Paige Evans, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. But I don't end up using that uh, sticker that is a sun. I had just pulled several suns thinking I might use them, but they don't end up making it on the layout. Now I did end up using some of the puffy stickers from that collection that are flowers and this little bird 
And I do like that little camera that I had. Um, and I'm going to bring that back in because it has a little bit of black to it. And it, I believe, is one canoe two Saturday afternoon as well. But I'm just kind of going through some of my older stickers here, like Amy Tangerine, and um, trying to figure out if there's any yellow in there. And I found that one little label that says, Hey. And the photo is fantastic. I really love the, the photo. I took a picture. I got this chalkboard for notes and things whenever, you know, you got to run to the grocery store or whatever. My ex-stepmom gave us all this chalkboard, and it's been so much fun to play with. And I had asked Bab a question. One of our things that we do is, I have a question. I'm always a curious person. I'm always wondering about something. So I always go, Bab? I have a question. <laughs> so when he proposed to me, he said, Bay, I have a question. <laughs> and it was very sweet and very symbolic. But on the chalkboard, I said, um, Bab, I have a question. Do you love me more than anything? And he answered, forever and always. And it's been on my mantle for months now because I just loved the answer. I thought it was adorable and we don't really use it as it's intended for grocery lists or what have you but we have enjoyed that little chalkboard quite a bit so i took a picture and i just love it and i don't ever want to forget that that is how he answered so now the happy memories is going to be my title that is from pink fresh studio and that was their latest collection just a little lovely and I like that it is very long and it is soft. It does have yellow, but it also has a little bit of pink and coral. And so I thought it was okay to incorporate a little bit of color, but just stick with mainly the yellows. And those daisies and those flowers are from the Truly Grateful Ephemera pack, and I absolutely love them. I love that sketchy look with a little bit of watercolor. I love the daisies. It's just, ah, oh, that collection just blows me away. And I love it. I love it so much. So, um, actually, I think that is, hmm, maybe it's She's Magic. I may be way off on this. I love, I've been getting product lately. So, I do, I think I'm wrong. That is Dear Lizzie's, um, She's Magic. Oh. Gosh, what am I thinking? Okay. <laughs> so, yes, that is Dear Lizzie's She's Magic. And I have it written down. And for whatever reason, I did not read it until just now. So I'm glad I corrected myself. But the Puffy Sticker Bird, the Enamel Flowers, and the Ephemera pieces are all from that collection. And I just got it. And so that's why I got confused. So I apologize. I also added some different yellow thread to the background. I think that adds wonderful texture. I'm going to put a little bit up at the top with that other daisy. And I'm just making sure everything is secure with glue because I did gesso the page. I'm also going to pop up a, color, a couple of areas. Um, I noticed that this paper worked in one particular area and I don't really it's where that gold is in the bottom left and I'm not really thrilled about it and I thought I would cover it up but it just didn't work out so I'm just gonna leave it as it is and it did dry nicer than it looks here but again just be careful with those powders oh my gosh they're a hot mess I've tried so many different brands I'm, I'm pretty much over it <laughs> So I did go around the edge of this layout with Distress Oxide in Squeeze Lemonade, and I really liked that. But I'm going to trim off the bottom of this layout as well because I felt like it needed just a little something extra to weigh down the bottom. And I've been doing that lately as well. So here I am deciding what to pop up and add dimension to. And some of the flowers and some of the hexagons get that foam tape so I found that foam tape at Dollar Tree I rarely go in there but Bab was so frustrated about not having small nail clippers and it's 
not that far away and it was on our way when we were going somewhere so I said stop in there and get 10 pair of little baby nail clippers for you to have so you can stop complaining so I don't know he loses them but he won't use the big nail clippers and he thinks they're ridiculous so he's very like OCD about having certain things and we went to Dollar Tree and found this foam tape that was different sizes, different widths, and it works pretty well. So if you have a Dollar Tree next to you and want to save some money on that foam tape, it's a really good bargain. Again, I'm just gluing everything down because of gesso, and that word happy is a little bit popped up. I wanted to make sure that you could read it and it did not blend too much into the background. And I dug through this old Schmill uh, sticker sheet and it had some acetate flowers that were yellow and I add those to the layout as well. And I don't think I find anything else. Oh, maybe I do. I That one little sticker that says noted and I end up having to glue that down as well. Stickers just aren't that sticky anymore. Used to, you put a sticker down, you couldn't get it up for days. Now. Um, you know, you but remember you had to use undo and things like that in order to get a sticker up. It seems the exact opposite now. It's like stickers don't even stick and I have to glue everything down. So it's very odd to me. I don't know what's going on there. So I'm going to add a couple of these little enamel dots from the She's uh, Magic Dear Lizzie collection. And that's also the little enamel flowers and they're really sparkly they're different um i like them because they remind me of childhood stickers like when i was little we always had these little cheapy shimmery stickers and you could get them at some little pharmacy or cheap little store and they were just fun and mrs grossman's used to make them as well but that's been a very, very long time ago. I don't know if Miss Grossman's is still in business. So leave me a comment below if you know if Mrs. Grossman's is still in business. I'm curious. Is that just not in Texas anymore? Or has she just shut down shop? I mean, I still have some Susie Q and Mrs. Grossman's like way back in my stash somewhere. And I save them for little things like cards. I used to love Susie Q. I wonder if they're in business as well. Uh, let me know if you know if they're in business as well, because I'm uh, now I'm curious. So, this is where I added those enamel flowers. I also added just for my stash um, some of that paper I trimmed off and added to the bottom, and then distressed the edge with my fingernails. And I'm digging through some of my Heidi Swap stickers that say sweet things like together forever and you will forever be my always and things like that so perfect to go on the layout again those stickers were not sticky so I am gluing them down I thought I'd add one more but it just didn't work out for the layout I even trimmed it to see if I should do because uh, it was so long but I just it didn't work so I'm gonna put that back because I do like what it says, but I think that kind of wraps up the page. It's really, really cute in person. I really hope you get a chance to check out all the YouTubers that are on the hop. I know that they're all going to have some unique layouts for you. There's no particular theme other than rainbow, and I think I did yellow justice. I hope I did. <laughs> I hope I inspired you to pull out your yellow stash and yellow paints and enjoy some of your yellow products because yellow reminds me of sunshine it's always been my favorite color and I really enjoy that color just because it makes me happy I just love it so that's the final layout I'm gonna have a couple of still pictures and I'll talk to you later ta-ta for now bye